Moving on. Question 2.14. A race car starts from rest and travels east along a straight and level track. For the first five seconds, the velocity is given by this function. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that for my own understanding. And that is velocity in the x direction as a function of time is 0 0.860 meters per second cubed multiplied by the square of time. So the question asks, what is the acceleration of the car when the velocity is 12 meters per second? So there are two parts to this. I need to know the acceleration, and I need to know when this is occurring. So this is not a time. I'm going to start by finding what time I'm looking for. So when is this velocity equal to 12 meters per second? So simply substituting 12 meters per second for the velocity, I will solve this for time. So 0.86 multiplied by t squared. I'm solving for t here. So I will take my 12, divide by 0.86, square root. And I should get two values for this. So my time is plus or minus the square root of 12 divided by 0.86, which I get a value of point, or I'm sorry, 3 point seven three five seconds and so the question is which of those do i want the positive or the negative well if i'm looking at the first five seconds of motion i'm probably going to be interested in the positive value of this because my car is not traveling backward in time so the second part is i need to find the acceleration so my acceleration i hopefully recall is the first time derivative of velocity. So taking the derivative of my velocity function, I'm going to take my power of 2 and multiply my coefficient by that. So I have 2 times 0 0.860. And I'm going to keep my units here because I'm creating a new function. And I'm going to take my power of t and reduce that by 1. So I just become t. So going one step further, this works to be 1.72 meters per second cubed multiplied by t. And that's my acceleration function. So now I simply need to substitute my value for t to find the acceleration at that time. So that's going to be a of x, or sorry, a sub x of 3.735 seconds. So I will substitute, and I'll see 1.72 meters per second cubed multiplied by 3.735 seconds. So one of my seconds will cancel, leaving me with seconds squared. My a of x at this particular time should be, if I go to my calculator, 1.72 times 3.735. I get a value of 6.42 approximately and those units should be meters per second squared. So you can see we're using a time derivative to find our acceleration function. Moving on to question 15. A turtle's crawling in a straight line. The equation for the position of this is now this fantastic uh, quadratic equation. And I want to find initial velocity, position, and acceleration. So initial implies time zero. So I want to take my position function, which is 50 centimeters plus 2 centimeters per second times t minus 0 0.0625 centimeters per second squared times t squared. And I want to plug in a zero for all of these. So x of 0, well, this term would vanish. This term would vanish, leaving me only 50 centimeters. So this is my initial position. So how do I find my initial velocity? Well, I need to say that velocity is going to be the time derivative of position. I'm going to change notations here. I'm going to say it's x prime of t, which is the same as saying it is the first derivative of x. And that would, if I go up here, my 50 centimeters term is a constant, so it will not change with respect to time, so that is zero. My second term will 
take the one down, become just two centimeters per second, minus, bring the two down, two times 0 0.0625 centimeters per second squared, times reducing this power by one, just becomes t. So here is my new function for v of x, or v in the x direction. So that'll be two centimeters per second minus 0 0.125 centimeters per second squared multiplied by t. So vx initial, so at t equals zero, is going to be simply two centimeters per second. The acceleration is just one more derivative from there. So my acceleration in the x direction is going to be v prime of t. So I will take my velocity function I just got, my constant will vanish, and I will be left with simply the coefficient here, which is negative 0.125 centimeters per second squared. So if I were to take the zero time for this, ax of zero, I'm simply left with the constant. So negative 0.125 centimeters per second squared. So that is my initial acceleration. So that is all that is there for part A. Part B says at what time t is the velocity of the turtle zero. So thankfully I have this velocity function and I can simply find out when that velocity is zero. So when is vx of t zero? I'm going to substitute in zero for my vx of t. So I have 2 minus 0.125 times t. So solving for t in this case, the time for which my velocity is 0 would be 2 divided by 0.125, which works to be, with a little calculator magic, 1.6 seconds. Continuing on, part C asks, how long after starting does it take the turtle to return to its starting point? So this is asking me, when do I return to 50 centimeters? So there are two ways to do this. One of those ways is to notice that in my position function, if I want to return to 50 centimeters, I could simply ask, when are these two terms together equal to zero? Or I could just say that when are these two terms, or when is the displacement equal to zero? So when is x of t equal to zero? So when did I go back to where I started? Let me actually rephrase that. It makes more sense to say when is the change in position over time equal to zero. So x of t I want to end up being zero. So I'm going to start at 50 centimeters, and I want to return to 50 centimeters after some amount of time. And so my function here is going to be 2t, pardon, 2t minus 0 0.625, 0 0.0625t squared. So when is my total change in position zero? So when do I return to my initial position? So I can solve this as a quadratic. Um, that would simply imply that you need to use the quadratic equation. So if I use the quadratic equation, let's go ahead and do that in case you've forgotten. So negative b plus or minus the square root of 4ac. I'm going to stop here because I all of a sudden have forgotten the quadratic equation. So, pardon me. So, uh, now that I have refreshed my brain, I have square root of b squared minus 4ac, forgive me, all over 2a. So, that will be negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 50 times negative 0.0625 square root 
all over 2 times negative 0 0.0625. So the results for this, if I go to my calculator, will be, and my calculator actually allows me to solve this as a quadratic. Your mileage may vary. 0 0.0625 squared plus 2 plus 50 equals 0. Solve for that variable. And I get values of, so it gives me two values here. It gives me t of negative 16.5 approximately and another t value of 48.5. So, out of these two times, I'm going to again ignore the negative one because I know that the negative time is before the car even started moving. So, I'm going to ignore this negative time and I'm simply going to say that the time when I return back to my original position is at 48 and a half seconds. Part D, this keeps going. At what times t is the total of distance 10 meters from its starting point? So that would be the exact same solution process. So I want to know when is it 10 meters away from the solution or from the initial point. So I'm actually going to kind of ignore these last two questions for right now because these will actually be more doable later when we get to graphing these functions. So I will address these more in detail later with graphs.